One of the key applications of CoSpaces EDU is creating stories. In this tutorial, you'll learn one of the many ways you can use CoSpaces EDU for storytelling by recreating the story of Hansel and Gretel as an interactive experience. This fairy tale is made of three main scenes. Hansel and Gretel are sent away by their evil stepmother. They leave breadcrumbs on their path through the forest. Hansel gets trapped by the witch who lives in a gingerbread house, but Gretel manages to trick the witch and pushes her into the pot. Let's start by building the first scene. Choose a nice environment, for example this grassy landscape, and add objects from the library. For example, place a house from the housing category or make one yourself with building blocks. Add two children to star as your main characters and two adults for the father and stepmother. You can also add animals and nature items to create a nice scenery. Once you're happy with how your scene looks, enable your character's use in Coblox and start a Coblox script. Let's now show that the characters are clickable by adding a speech bubble. Get a when item is click Coblox for the stepmother. Let's have her say something to send the kids away while changing the animation to pointing. How would the children react to this? For example, you can set their animations to shocked. By moving these code blocks inside the when click code block, they'll only react after their stepmother has spoken. Here's a tip. Always use a remove event code block with a when item is click code block. This will remove the click event after it's been clicked once, preventing the viewer from clicking it multiple times. Instead of just showing text, you could also add recorded voices. Simply record voices for your characters in CoSpaces EDU and set them to be played once they're clicked by choosing a sound from the drop-down menu. Wait until finished should be set to true so that the code only continues once the recorded voice has finished playing. Let's have the children turn around and run away by using turn and move code blocks for each of them. Once they've run for a few seconds, let's switch to a new scene. Go to the scenes menu on the left and create a new scene. Choose this scene in the drop-down menu of your go-to-scene code block. In the next scene, let's have the two children walk along a path item and drop breadcrumbs. Set up a path item and use the move along path code block to make the two children walk along it. The run parallel code block will make them both move at the same time. Making Hansel drop breadcrumbs as he moves along the path will require a bit more advanced coding. You'll first need to find something to represent a breadcrumb. Let's use the frustum and name it breadcrumb. Whenever Hansel is clicked, a copy of the breadcrumb should be placed at his current position. Add an environment and trees to your scene to build a scary forest scene. Create a new scene and add a go to scene code block at the end of your code. In the next scene, let's add the witch and her house as well as the cage that will trap Hansel. First, program the children to be running along a path towards the gingerbread house. Set up paths and the code for it as you did before. Build a cage with building blocks and group them or upload an external 3D model. When the witch gets clicked, her animation changes to walking and she moves forward. You can then have her say something to the children. When Hansel gets clicked, the cage falls down and traps Hansel. When Gretel is clicked, she turns towards the witch and moves to the witch's position. She then pushes the witch, making her move to the pot's position. That's it for now. As you can imagine, you can go much further and there is no limit to your creativity here. You can add a lot more details with more advanced coding. So, what will you create? <laughs>